that was a nice ride in today. The weather's perfect. Other than the, the sky is being like, it's really smoky out here. More so than yesterday. I thought it was supposed to clear up today, but it looks like uh, eesh, the winds didn't shift in the way they thought it would. It smells like a bonfire everywhere you go. I don't know if you can see it. If I go sticking through the fence here, you see that tree line all the way out there? You can sort of see how hazy it is over there too. Super hazy. Camera doesn't really pick it up as well as the eyeballs do, but hopefully that clears up soon. Hopefully they can put all the fires out every summer. You know, growing up, I probably didn't pay attention to this much because I was a kid and I was too busy, you know, getting into trouble and, you know, riding my bike everywhere. Uh, I guess not much has changed. <laughs> but uh, now that I'm an adult, I notice that uh, there's a lot of forest fires every year every year we have forest fires and every year we have smoke rolling did this happen when i was a child too so let's say like 20 years ago i'm 33 now so in the last is this a new thing that happens every single summer or has it always been this way it seems like there's just fires every year anyways i gotta uh go get my truck started up grab my trailer and we need to head up to Toulon. You gotta be there for noon today. Don't wanna be late. What is going on over there? We're not anywhere near the airport. I can't see because the sky is so smoky. Sounds like the Air Force is doing flyovers. It's probably just a. It's probably not the Air Force. It's probably just a regular jet. But I don't know why it's so low. And why I can't see it. That sounded really close. The airport is a really long, really far ways away. We usually don't hear that here. <laughs> Some of you were uh, telling me I should get a lock for my bike here. I, I do have a lock actually. I have a lock and I have an alarm. So if you mess with the bike at all. It gives you a warning. If you mess with it again, the alarm will sound and it's a pretty piercing piercing alarm so they'll they'll be able to hear it across the yard and uh makes me feel a lot better i got it on amazon that's pretty cool but yeah just to answer your question if i do lock it here absolutely i lock it it's already in a fenced in compound obviously and locked in here anyone who's in here has to have authorization to be in here but just in case as well you know just doesn't hurt to lock your stuff up here we go. You know, when I was a kid, I can't understand how I got my bag to stay on my shoulder like this all day. And all the time everywhere I went, I never had a problem with it falling off. Now that I'm an adult, I have a, a backpack. I can't even walk from the bike to the truck without it trying to fall off my shoulder. Obviously, I have lost my skills. My backpacking skills. This up in here. All right. So... In this bag, I have everything I need for the day. Uh, any electronics, any paperwork, uh, uh, tools that I might need to fix things. Just a couple extra things. My lunch is in there as well. I, I try to travel as light as possible on the bike. But I, still, I still seem to carry a lot of stuff. I still need a lot of stuff. I got lots of stuff. One thing I won't need is this sweater. It's already really hot. Wow. Much better. Much better. There. This back on. Here we go. I'm going to check the oil and do the pre trip. Go grab our trailer and hit the road. to trailer 547R this morning. I'm gonna just sneak right in here. Just sneak right in here and take this trailer. There it is. We're hooked. Okay. 
Actually, you know what? Just leave the truck running. Let her stay idling there. She's still a little grumpy. I woke her up a little quicker than usual. Usually I like to ease her into the day, but we gotta get going. when I press the brake pedal engage the brakes with the brake pedal this one releases the brakes because this trailer is naturally locked the brakes are naturally locked when I press the red button on my dash it fills this with air shoots air through here and it releases the brakes so that we can move I'll go release them right now this one down here and I'll fill the trailer with air when you do that, make sure these brakes in your truck are definitely set, obviously. We got no door on here, so we're gonna have to figure out another way of getting in here. Let's roll up these uh, legs here before I forget though. Get this out of the way and done. Turn four ways, the hazards and the brights on. And it's smoky. Yikes. What? Where's my brights? Hey. Hi. Told you to turn the brights on. Oops, I turned the signal on. There we go. <laughs> okay, there you go. High beams, low beams working. Both signals working. Lights all working up there. I don't need the beacons today. We'll check those in a minute. Lights are working, trailer is tight. Okay. Right at the back. Signals are working. Let's see if there's anything in here. It is an empty trailer. Not sure if you can see in there or not, but it is empty. It's 48 foot. Kick these tires, they are all inflated with premium air. And off we go! Off to two on. And man, it's even smokier than I thought. I told you guys it was smoky before. I should I should clarify and say it's really smoky. Yikes. We've got about a mile visibility, I'd say. I can't even see the city. I'm just outside the city, it's right there. Usually you can see downtown clearly from here. Nothing, wow. So instead of getting better, it definitely got worse. I'll have to check the weather report when I stop again and see, uh, see what's going on with this. Hopefully it won't get too much worse. Pretty bad air quality now. So yeah, like I said, we just left, we're southeast of Winnipeg, Manitoba in Canada right now. If you're wondering where Winnipeg is, it's right here. If you travel up from the US through uh, Eastern North Dakota, right along the border with Minnesota, up Interstate 29 North, Eventually you will bump into the Canadian border and the friendly border guards there. And uh, I live about an hour or so north of that. And that's where we are now. Winnipeg is about an hour and a half north of that border. Uh, right at Pembina, North Dakota. Uh, the Canadian side is Emerson, Manitoba. Uh, that's the kind of an idea of where we are. We're right in the center of North America. where all our geese friends have been hanging out but I see they've mown the, they've mowed the lawn I hope they didn't mow over Herbert or Wilbur or both of them either of them and here's their pond where they hang out who's got control of it now no one oh mutually assured destruction they must have taken each other out all spring it was uh, a battle between the ducks and the geese for that little pond there 
Every day it was someone else who had control. Now there's no one there. They nuked each other, I guess. Now they're all gone. So Toulon is about an hour north. They're really nice people there, so it'll take... Well, they should be ready by the time I get there. If not, that's okay. It doesn't take them long to get, get me loaded once, once uh, they start. It's a roll tight behind me today, so thank goodness there's no tarping. up in the center of the yard over there again open up the trailer and wait this is what we're loading right here I'm assuming it's usually what we get loaded to get ourselves right in the middle. heads up if you're uh, coming anywhere near where I set this camera down and you want to set a camera down as well make sure you don't lean on the exhaust pipe when you do so ouch I'm good I'm good though didn't even singe the hair but close one different angle at this here. One second. Here we go. Okay. This is a bit of a stubborn one. Come on. Break in there. There you go. Set and ready to go. All stubborn. Man. All right, I already hear him moving around in there. I'm gonna go wait in my truck for him to load me up, and then I'll tie her down. Okay, so we got three pieces on us. Uh, two of them are going to Indiana. One's going to Michigan. So two straps here, two straps there. Bada bing, bada boom. We'll be done. There should be straps in this box right here. One second. Oh, careful there, guys. You gotta keep your balance. Okay. Let's see. One. Oh, these are rolled up backwards. Oh, it bugs me when people do that. Rolled up backwards. The hook should always be facing in, and the writing on it should be facing out. Much easier to throw it over the load that way. 
But some people haven't discovered that trick yet, so that's okay. What do we got here? It's a pretty short one. Yeah, this might be long enough. Rolled up backwards again, too. I'm going to have to figure out who's doing this and have a little chat with them. Hey, you're rolling up the straps backwards, man. How about this one? Is this one going to be backwards? Yep. See, like this? It's harder to throw it over like this. It's much easier to throw it over like this and let it roll. Do you know what I mean? When the strap is rolled up, that shouldn't be facing out. It should be... Whatever. You get it. It'll work. We'll make it work. It's just not my style. Locked. Stay locked there. Come with me. Let's do this one first. Huh? Whoa! Whoa, you guys, be careful. I've heard you guys so often. Hang on, okay? Here we go. Let's see if the short one will get over here. Huh. in here and we'll head back these loads are very easy to tie down very easy you just got to be careful it's, it's one of those it's some of that freight that uh, you want it to be secure and tight but you don't want to reef on it that's what they call it uh, you don't want to put your whole body weight into it at all you want to be careful that the strap doesn't damage the freight so you want to make it just tight enough, not too tight, and definitely not too loose. Do it. Sort of just uh, got to get a feel for it over time. I pick this stuff up all the time. So, so I'm uh, used to it already, but it takes some practice and you got to be careful in the beginning. You never want to make the mistake of over tightening. I mean, that's got to be the worst thing for receivers, you know? You order this product, you're all excited, it finally got there, it's on the truck, you're unloading it, and you find out that the trucker damaged the freight with his straps and load securement. That's got to be a... Hmm. Maybe kind of a bad day. You don't want to be that. You don't want to be that guy. I don't know about you guys, but when, when I buy stuff, when I order it and I get it delivered, I like it when it arrives undamaged. I just, I like it a lot better that way. So I assume that everybody else feels the same way about the stuff that I'm bringing them. All right, all tied down. Let's button her up. So close. So close. Oh, we made it. Got the other side locked. 
Just had to go to the back and give it a good whack. It was kind of, it was stuck back there a little bit. There we go. There was some more stuff to pick up, I guess, because Roy's here with his truck. And he hit the step deck. And those step decks are a pain to open and close, so I stuck around to help him open and close that. He just got 15 feet put in there. just up there. There we go, co-op. This is my regular stop. They know me in there already. Let's <laughs> stop here every time. I wish they had some bean to cup coffee though. That's the only thing I can say. I mean, their coffee's all right. It's gas station coffee. It'll do. They owe me a free coffee today though. I'm part of their coffee club. Every five coffees, you get a free coffee, I think. I think it's every five, so your sixth one is free. And today is our lucky day. Today is our free one. And somebody's parked in my spot up there. I usually park. Because I can just go in beside them. Ah, oh, yeah, we'll fit. No problem. spot. Not today.
every time I fuel up, I reset the tripometer because I can do about 150 miles on a tank. So that was about 110 miles, 111 miles. And it cost me $17.77 or 11.4 liters, 11 and a half liters. Okay, man. It's a little tricky to put on here sometimes. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, this needs to be. I need to pull out the bull snot when I get home again. Look at this. I think I'm gonna need a haircut soon. Thanks for watching today, everybody. It was a fun day. Hope you have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.